Well, hey y'all, for this video, we're about to head out to Gunnersville Dam. We're gonna go after some nice size bluegill. Um, what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be throwing this little Aberdeen size three hook with a little bit of split shot weight, about, you know, six, seven inches up from the hook. No bobber, at least no bobber to start out with. And I'm just using this small little Shakespeare reverb. This has got six pound test line on it. And all we're gonna be doing, and you'll see it, is we're gonna put a little bitty piece of worm on here. We'll chop the worm up to like 10 pieces, throw a little piece of worm on here, and then we'll be dropping it down directly into the corner of the dam if we can get our spot. And um, just wait for that fish to come along and we'll feel a little tug and then you know reel her on in. So that's all we're gonna be doing today. Let's go ahead, let's get out there, got a little bit of a drive, and let's get to fishing. Because I've got this small little split shot weight running down to a small hook with a little bit of worm on there we're going to be dropping it down up against this wall looking for a bluegill possibly some drum we'll try to compare a drum and a bluegill dinner uh, you see gizzard shed all through here right now and we'll see what we can get today so let's get after it There we go. There's a nice one. Woo. There we go. Fish number one. There we go. Yowja. Easy peasy. There's one. Little white bass. Ow. Ow. No. Throw him back. Mm. All right, I was trying to get out the way. Yep. Thank, you. yep, thank you. This corner's where it's at. Just drop it down in that corner. Get the line kind of tight and give it a second. Ooh, there was a bite. And see, took the worm. Okay. This is the, as easy as it gets, everybody. Easy as it gets. If my rod would drop it a little smoother, though. That might make it a little easier. Drop it on down. You know, you just wait a few seconds. There was a bite. There's one up there. Ow. Hooked me. Hooked. Me. Pretty fish. Oh, you do. Quit. I'm going to throw you back. Let's toss her back in. What do you think? Bluegill? There was a bite. There's
There we go. That's a pretty one. Can't stop, won't stop. Let's drop her back. Oh, that's no different than a red frit. That's no different than a red fish, as one of my friends would say. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to toss it in. And we're going to compare the flavors of the fish. Bluegill versus drum. Who's going to win? Well, I'm gonna call it right here. Um, I'll throw this little bit in whenever I decide to stop editing, just catching fish. Bluegill were biting like crazy today, so were the drum. Uh, there was some catfish being caught out there, but you saw how I was going after the bluegill. But if you have any questions about how to do it or, or anything, just feel free to ask and um, I'll see if I can help you. Pretty simple, a lot of fun, a lot of fish, and it's the perfect time of the year to be doing this. So thank y'all for tuning in and following along with me. And I'm looking forward to the next time. I might make a, a, a second part to this where I use little minnows below there also because the, the bite changed a little bit between the night crawlers and the minnows. So I might separate the videos out. But um, I'm going to quit talking, get to editing. And until next time, there's something going on over there. Until next time, y'all remember to stay stinky.